Hey there, this is Giacomo from 77 Designs and today I want to talk to you about using our beautiful lightweight, super lightweight actually, stem together with other manufacturers bars. And I got some samples for you. I have a 40mm riser rental. I got a 35mm riser one up and I got a descendant from Trovative actually this is 25 millimeter rise so and of course I have our 20 millimeter riser which I will start with show you the basic idea of how to slide it in um, and then we will go like level up level up level up and see where the end is um, yeah let's get started so the basic idea is how you want to slide the stem in, you want to see like orientation is correctly. Sorry, I wasn't in the picture so much. So you want to see like that, then you start. You want to actually slide in like that, stay in, in the inner radius with the stem. Then you want to turn this, the bar and keep sliding. To be honest, with this model, it is just like, it doesn't matter. That's like engineered as a piece together to work, to function, to be assembled like without even looking at it. I can look in your eyes and assemble that, right? But if we are moving on and taking this beautiful, yeah, it was already on the test rig, okay? It has some stickers. I took it out of the garbage place, but I can show you the idea again. So you want to see if that is aligned and you start sliding it down inside the radius, continue. Uh, uh, uh. That wouldn't work anymore, you would make scratches. So you want to turn the bar by about 90 degrees and keep sliding and you're on it. So that thing just landed like super easy. Now you can just um, fix the balls and mount it like that is 25 millimeter rise and that is basically for most of the 25 millimeter riser problem begins with let's say 35 millimeter risers i actually don't have a 30 millimeter riser but i think 30 millimeter riser should be possible in most cases so here we go with the one up again let's see find the right orientation together Okay, stay inside, make that turn, and now it is getting harsh. And if it's getting harsh, that means you're going to scratch the surface. And you really don't want that. And we also don't want you to put, um, just a sec, like to um, use a screwdriver and start like leveraging the, uh, open, to open the gap. Because that can actually harm the structure of the aluminium and then the product would not be safe anymore. So you really don't want that. We allow like any kind of spreading that you can just like do by pushing that would open up already up to two or three millimeters. So you have some range, but don't use tools. Just don't, it's dangerous, okay? So this is actually the limit. I also purchased the rental. And I'm going to show you how that would happen. It wouldn't happen at all. That just doesn't work anymore. Good news is we are one composite is on the way. It's testing already 35 millimeter riser bars and we expecting stock soon. So it's worth to wait if you need more, more, uh, yeah, more higher bar. What is the correct word? Like more stack height. Yeah, stack. Exactly. If you're looking for stack, just wait a little and we will have you covered. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Uh, one thing I forgot to say, if you already tried the combination like our stem with bar X, Y, Z, whatever, um, please do us a favor, drop it in the comments. It will be so helpful for everybody else and we might be able to create a list, put it on the homepage. And yeah, we appreciate your support. Thank you so much.